Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to review headlines of today's newspapers. So let's uh, give it a whirl. All right. Thank you, Shaito. We go right into it and we'll start with um, this day on Saturday, the newspaper of record. Uh, and we'll take it from top to bottom. Uh, the window story uh, is not a very good one. I mean, everybody has been talking about it since yesterday on social media and everywhere. Inflation hits 26-year high as 31.70% amid higher food energy prices. Uh, and the riders, analysts say monetary policy alone can tackle rising prices. One CBN to focus on price stability. DMO reports on appointments of Eurobond transaction uh, advisors false. Okay, so that is where we are, ladies, angels, 31.70% uh, all time high in 26 years for inflation. It simply means that uh, more belt tightening and things. Um, um, a bit more top, you know. I wish that belt tightening tougher. could work for everyone, not just, you know, the people of the that's country. The whole, that's the whole point, mm. you know, mm. when those who are making laws or those who are in government um, are making provisions that cover, you know, the 37% inflation rate, but then you access everybody to, you know, take it easy that things will get better. Um, you, you're not going to find a peaceful country, mm. yeah. frankly speaking. I believe food inflation has also gone up to 37, around 37 percent. No, I think the, yeah, about 37, correct. Yes, for you food know. inflation. Yeah, absolutely. So Which is, I mean, you're, you're, you're basically struggling. Yeah. You're basically struggling. You know, I, I hope that they realize this and that, um, frankly speaking, propaganda can cut it. Things are not going well. Mm. Um, yeah, under that uh, is a story, of course, that has been affecting many people who we were meant to uh, uh, take this as part of uh, the week that was, uh, but, but we didn't have enough time. Submarine cable cut. Internet disruption may persist for three weeks, say, says May 1. Uh, we know, of course, that it's, it, it's not affecting only Nigeria. It's across the West Coast and a bit of South Africa. I think South Africa, you know, has money to uh, get a hang of, you know, how to deal with it. Uh, but here we are in Nigeria, you know, with Cameroon, in, you know, Côte d'Ivoire, in and Ghana, look at it. It's even going to last as long as three weeks. You know, if it's not. Some are saying that if we're not careful, it might, it might go as far as, you know, as long as five weeks. You know. Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you have some transfers to make. Give me money. I'll do it for you. <laughs> so, banks, everybody, you know, is worried. You know, journalists, researchers, people in the academia, you know, people are worried because our lives, you know, revolve around, you know, technology and the internet. And, yeah. and it's, it's, you know, it, it's very concerning that this is happening. But, I mean, They've asked us to brace up, and the, the, the least we can do is just to find a way to plan We're just being hit in every way, <laughs> every food, way. insecurity, mm. now, the, the internet. Light. Light. Fuel. You know, now and it's still very 31. hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's still yeah. very hot. Okay, under the uh, Mastered Nigeria Rot Rotary International Pledge, increased collaboration to fight polio infant mortality. Um... And of course, a story that um, um, you know everybody is mourning. Even Chibi Wanya, who says, mm. uh, is mourning. Uh, I am given, you know, that, that that's uh, my root. I'm sure that the chairman of Arise, you know, TV will be mourning. So he was born in Ibadan, as you know. Mm. So the story says Olubada buried as president of Basojo Makide Abdul Razak, others pay tribute. Um, uh, well, well, I mean, we. We can but just express our condolences, you know, to uh, every Bado person, to the family of the, of the late monarch, uh, uh, Dr. Balogun. He was 81 at he the was, time was of 81. his passing. I'd only spent two years, um, sadly. sadly, on the, th on the throne. Sadly. Both He's one of the shortest uh, in, in recent years. You know, uh, and the flip side of it is that you now have a governor who uh, has had to uh, oversee the transition of two Ulubadans, you know, uh, in quick succession. But I don't look at it that way. I'm looking at it that, okay, maybe the governor, we can say, you know, has the fortune of installing, you know, uh, a new Ulubadan as he did, you know, in Obomosho, as he's done, as he will do in Oyo, because they are still trying to, you know, find a way around it. But, I mean, congratulations to uh, uh, Kabi Siolakulein, uh, who will be the next, 
you know, Ulubado of Ibadan. I think the beauty of the Ibadan uh, chieftaincy, you know, uh, style is that you know who will succeed, succeed you know, the, the, and, and, and possibly one of the best, you know, in the country. No rank or no nothing. People may argue that, oh, they get hold before they get there, but everybody knows that this next person. We're not waiting on any oracle or on any governor or on any godfather, you know, to determine mm -hmm. who becomes the Ulubado of Ibadan. You know, and I think that that's a good one for uh, those very courageous people of Ibadan. The lead story says again, Defense Chief Meet Ribadu, EFCC Chairman, calls for end to terror financing. Interesting story given that this has always been the theme. But what um, have we done with the quantum of information that we had on Nabuari's administration in terms of terror financing? There were names being bandied. Uh, I think that the UAE government even sent you know, some names, you know, to the federal government that, hey, we trace this thing, these are people you know, dealing with it, but now we, we have the CDS, you know, asking the FCC chairman, the NSA, and everybody to say, go after who does what? Well, and terror. terror. I mean, terrorism. that goes without saying, isn't it? You know? Yeah. If you hurt the money, you hurt the operations, you know, think about it in many different Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's quickly go to... Um, the Saturday punch, or...? Yeah. Uh, or the uh, Yeah. Or? yeah. Yeah, Vanguard, yeah. quickly. Because, uh, yeah, so the big uh, Saturday Vanguard, the big story here is Tinubu's appointees causing him problems. That is Alan Onyema. It says, the writer there says, President, Vice Meanwell, need everybody's support, what they need to succeed, why government must encourage indigenous investments, foreign airlines fleece Nigerians, now they plot against air peace, and $20 million Hajj money not paid, 14 million trapped in the CBN. Now, this major story about the Tinubu's appointees causing him problems. I mean, this is, we have a new story that uh, mm -hmm. broke yesterday about the Minister of Transportation mm -hmm. and an allegations about the company he the just company. signed, yeah. an MOU with, yeah. being a, a company that only has 500 pounds mm. in assets. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I let me go that, again. I think they said that move from 100 pounds to 1,000 well, pounds at some point. Yeah. And they've never done anything. And, you know, but, I mean, still, I somehow, still in the realm of speculation. It's still in the realm yeah. of speculation, yeah. but, you know, beyond that, we do have... Um, a, over 40 ministers mm. that mm. the president did appoint mm. and the problems that we have seen with them have been many. Uh, we are still waiting for Hadiza Bala's report card, I would say. <laughs> Nigerians are waiting with bated breath <laughs> to see what is going to happen when um, there's hopefully a ministerial shake-up coming soon because mm. there are a lot of point problems. problems that we can't point to Tinubu's appointees. Mm. Hopefully that will come after the Orosai report will have been implemented. Full, no, 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 <laughs> fully implemented. <laughs> fully implemented. <laughs> All right, what do we have in the Saturday Telegraph? Okay, Saturday Telegraph, a major story there on the uh, banner, 27 years after coup, mm. Dia CSO Major Fadipe opens up, says that Bacha was under pressure from Bamai, others to execute Dia mm. admits that they took part in plots to remove the ex-head of state and reveals why he refused Dia's order to petition the Uputa panel. That can be found on uh, pages 20, 20 and 21. And 21. Huh, very... telegraph going back in time <laughs> to make some, you know, revelations. I, I'm sure that it will be an interesting read, isn't it? Definitely. For those who, who, who <laughs> want to know what actually went interest. down. You know. Mm. And yeah. then just there on the top, of course, uh, yeah. In security, we must track terrorism, uh, financing block loopholes, what yeah. we just spoke about. Okay. Uh, custom seizes, rifles, pump, action guns, yeah. hat drugs at a Tinkan airport. And uh, finally... Okay, that's fine. I mean, yeah. let's, let's use the ten, last 10 seconds <laughs> to look at punch. Yes. Because an interesting story is there, uh, given that we are in the month of Ramadan. About, uh, oh, know, my. <laughs> <laughs> I know the story. You drew my attention to it, Sheikho. Uh, it says only legitimate wives should prepare food. For husbands <laughs> during Ramadan. That's the president of Nasfat, you know, saying that. You know, all these things. What does that even mean? Every Muslim is allowed to marry more than one wife. Yeah, but only, oh, only yeah. if they're legitimate. Oh. Only if they're legitimate. I, you know, what happened in the um, and I, I believe it was kind of earlier this yeah. week with people being arrested for eating during the Hizbah thing. Yeah, mm. the Hizbah. So, I mean, Hizbah, Hizbah has a record of um, you know going overboard sometimes. Mm. You know, but I'm interested in this thing. And how they are going to regulate that? You know, exactly. <laughs> so that those who are aspiring wives who now want to use the Ramadan to bring food to see you know <laughs> Baba oh. Kobe and stuff like that. You know, no, uh, no, no, no. you know, oh. Nasfat President saying only, only, only legitimate <laughs> wives. You know, allowed to cook for. I hope my Muslim friends are listening and they should oh. listen good you know after ramadan today 
All right, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching. And I'm Steve. Are you already? Well, I'm Adesua Giwa Osage. Thank you for joining us today. And I'm Shaito Atigari. From our entire team here in Lagos, Nigeria, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.